Today we're going to be installing a complete carbon fiber window surround on my C8 Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be putting on a carbon fiber surround around the rear window on my C8 Corvette. Now, this kit com is compiled by three different part numbers that you'll have to purchase. Uh, one is for the, the uh, camera cover, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that, that part number here up on the screen so you'll know, as well as the two surround pieces that go around the, the window, and then also the bottom part of the window that meets down where your emblem is down here, the rear of the car. Now, um, I'll put all the, all the part numbers up there so you'll know exactly what to order. But let me tell you a little bit what I'm, I'm about to do. I'm having to do a little bit of a, of a change up a little bit. The camera itself, camera cover, that's going to go on really, really simple. We're going to, after we take everything apart, we'll put this on part first. And then we would normally then go ahead and set the go ahead and pull the vents out of the old surrounds, move them over into this, and they utilize the same bolts, so you don't have to worry about that. And you would get those set but not tightened down yet. And then you would go ahead and you would take this part out, and you can see all the bolts here, and then you'd put it back in place and then start tightening things down. But there is one caveat to the, the bottom part of this, okay? And that is the rear window. The way General Motors made the, this piece to fit in there, they made it so the glass literally sandwiches right here on this piece. And so this piece will move around when you take it loose, but there is no physical way to get this out of the car and a new one put in without breaking the glass. So you have to, you can go to the glass shop and have it removed, professionally removed, and then you put change out the part and then you can put your window back in. Now, a lot of you have chose not to want to do that. You don't want to take the chance. And a good friend of mine that you've seen his car on, on, on the channel, uh, Kevin Reynolds, uh, he went ahead and he's got a car just like mine. He went down to a glass shop and he went ahead and had his glass removed and changed it out, put it back in. Now, he was smart enough to go ahead and check with GM to make sure that he could get another glass just in the unlikely event that it broke okay well i did the same thing i checked with my local dealers there is no glass right now to be gotten and so i didn't want to take this chance of possibly breaking this window uh, so what i've elected to do is i bought some uh, real high-end carbon fiber wrap that has the exact same weave. It looks identical to this. So I'll, what I'm gonna be doing is I will be wrapping this and then putting all of the parts around. Or I will be wrapping this one, I'll be wrapping my original one in the car and leaving the glass in place and then go and putting all the rest of the carbon fiber parts on. But I don't wanna discourage you this. I, I would have no problem changing this out if I had another glass available. So later on, probably the beginning of the year, um, we'll probably be changing this out as soon as I know there's a glass to be gotten a hold of. Um, I just didn't want to take that chance right now, okay? And I didn't want to hold this video up. Extreme Online sent me these parts, God, a couple of months ago, and I'm just now being able to get to it because I have been holding off for this. So I want to make sure that you guys get it. You guys know exactly how to do it because these are beautiful. They have a really, really nice, uh, nice weave, great finish. They look awesome. And uh, I just want to get this out here so you guys can see it, okay? So anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the video now. I'm going to show you just all the, all the screws we've got to take out and uh, we'll go from there and hopefully you enjoy it, okay? We are under the car here, and you can see right here that we've got some torque screws, okay? All the way down here. These are 20 torques, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and pull these out. Okay. 
and you can see that I've already put a you could use blankets or whatever but I put a, a, a total surround around the fenders here to make sure that I don't I don't scratch my car those of you that are a little taller than me uh, you probably won't have as much of an issue I still recommend you using some sort of protection for your fender but um, us guys that are vertically challenged um, I recommend that you go ahead and uh, definitely use something here on the fenders okay screws are the exact same length so you don't have to worry about that. And I think this is the last one. Alright, now I should be able to get this one out. lifts up and out just like that okay so now what we've got to do we're going to do the other side but then we're just going to go ahead and take these screws loose you can see right here hopefully here and here and up here this will take this bank of screens off and then we'll be able to transfer them over so for right the second I'm just going to set this off to the side all right so now go over here We got two more. All right, so now we should be able to pull this one out. got to do is we're going to loosen we're going to go ahead and loosen these screws over here those happen to be uh, eight millimeter we're just going to loosen those up we'll go ahead and we can take the nuts off and that's going to allow me to be able to get enough movement in there so I can go ahead and I can wrap this part Like I was saying, guys, if you're not, not super tall, you might want to get a little small little ladder, something like that to equalize it for you so you kind of, you can maneuver a little bit. Getting there, we're down to the last screw. Or last nut, I should say. What? You show them. The tabs are already, they're already broken off. Yes. I see that one moving, yeah. Oh, yeah. I barely touched it. It I still just take tape on it. Are they really? Yeah. It's so stupid. Well, and then just, just to make sure those guys just basically get the glass set right, right? Yeah. Yeah. But that's just common sense, though. Okay. There you go. And then 
this is the part. That goes right through like butter. Yeah, you gotta be careful because you don't pay attention. You can break something. Oh yeah, I can, I can see that. Cut something. Okay. Very cool tool. Very expensive tool. Yeah, what does something like that run? Seven, eight hundred bucks. Oh wow! Yeah, you're coming up on that tab. Yeah, there it went. Now, what we got here, like I was telling you, is we just got a, we got our, uh, our camera cover, okay? And um, so I've got it all the way down here. I didn't want to waste your time on this. Got it all the way down to the very last uh, uh, strip here, the sticky tape strip. And you can see right here, it's just gonna give me a bad time even on that one. The other ones didn't give me a bad time off camera, but I was trying to save some time. So we've got that off. We've got some adhesion promoter here, and I'm gonna put that on here. You could take some alcohol if you'd like, um, but I'm going to use a little bit of adhesion promoter and it just will make it just that much better. So if you have that, go ahead and put it on, on that surface right here. Okay. Then go ahead and let that dry. And then we're just going to simply set this down in place. Now, like I was saying, the reason behind doing the cover first is that it allows the surround to actually offset and let this sit nice and pretty. If you put the, the side trims in first, then this may want to lift up because it won't want to go all the way onto the edges of the paint um, or onto this covered edge. So this way, by doing it like this, it assures that this is going to go flat and then these will go flat also. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put that on there. It's dried now. And we're just going to set that in place, and you're going to you're going to be able to tell that it just fits right there, and you'll find you'll you'll feel the happy spot right there. Okay, and then you you're just going to hold it. My little stool almost gave out from underneath me, guys. But we're just going to hold it here, and um, we can. Um, my garage is probably about. Yeah, about 70 degrees right now, so it should hold really well. Now, if you're doing this in the winter time, you might want to warm your car up first. You know, warm the paint up a little bit, so you can you can hear that trying to like trying to pop up. So we're we're gonna go ahead. Let me see if my stool. If I can get my stool to stay put here, and we'll get that to go ahead and stick down, just like so. And then, like I said, once it's down, it should be fine. It's not, it shouldn't be going anywhere. 
Okay. There we go. All right. So that's piece number one. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, we've got our surrounds here. We're going to set this off the side. We're going to grab one of our original ones, okay? And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our torques. We've got uh, one here and we've got two down below on this bottom part right here. We're going to do that and then we're going to, we'll set that off to the side and we'll be able to transfer the, uh, the screens over to the new one. Now these these three screws that are coming out, they are 20 Torx also, but they're shorter than the other ones. So make sure that you don't get those confused and you try to use those instead. You'll end up damaging your, your new surround. Okay, so we're going to pull those off to the side here and the screen just lifts up and out, okay? I'm gonna set that off to the side. Okay, and then we've got our new surround and those will line up just like so. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll put those back in. I'm just starting them by hand. Nothing, nothing crazy here. All right, and then we'll tighten those up. Again, guys, you're going to be reutilizing the the hardware on these. Okay. So now we've got one ready to go. So we'll set this over here. And we'll do the same thing on this one. set this one off to the side. Alright, now we'll go ahead and put this one on. screens in, we can go over to this side over here and we can set this one in place. And it goes, just fits right down in there like that. Okay, and then we'll go to the other side and put that in and then we'll be able to lift the trunk lid and start putting screws down. All right, then we're going to go ahead and put the other side down. Okay, just like that. All right, so now we'll go ahead and we'll pop the trunk and then we'll lift this up and we'll be able to start putting the screws in. Just lifting that up like so. They'll stay in the slot, just right where they belong. Okay, so now we can go ahead and we can start putting the screws back in. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is to take your hand and hold on to your uh, surround from the top to make sure that, that gets started. You probably, probably won't hurt to be able to put another one in like so, like this. And that gets it started, gets it going there. Then at that point, you can 
You can hand do these and hand start them if you'd like, which I recommend. And you'll feel it. You'll feel that it's going, that it's sucking down. But you want to, like I said, you want to get all these started here beforehand. Right? You don't want to reef these down with a screw gun or a ratchet. Because um, you don't want to take the chance of breaking something and not seating correctly. There's a lot of different things. But you know, you want to take care of it. So now we've got our two here, our two here, our two here, and then our three here. So now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten these up with a, with a ratchet rather than the screw gun, just to make sure that I'm not damaging anything, okay? And you don't want to reef these down so super tight that you end up breaking the carbon fiber, right? You just, you just need to be snug. side we're gonna do the same thing over there okay we are on the or the passenger side now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set our screws over here okay so we've got one that's right here one here and one here but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just gonna put one in here for right now just to be able to set this so we don't have one of our screens falling out on us stuff out of the way and then we'll be able to close the trunk or close it down a little bit so we can take a look at our work. So take a look at that. Looks pretty darn nice, doesn't it guys? So guys there you have it. That's the the carbon fiber surround for the C8 Corvette. Um, you know unfortunately I wasn't able to show you this piece. Um, it will go on and uh, it's just eight bolts. I just want to make darn sure that Chevrolet has a window that can get a window and just in case my window gets broken. But uh, kind of thinking it's probably not going to, but I just wanted to be on the safe side. But I wanted to get this video out for you guys. It, it's I've had the parts for a couple months now and it's just was driving me crazy that I didn't get it done. So anyway, uh, not to worry if you guys are going to do this, you guys go to a glass shop, have them professionally take that glass out and then put it take this out, put it back in, and put the glass in, and you'll be good to go. Um, guys, I just want to thank you guys all for watching today. Um, you know, I want to thank Extreme Online Store today for sponsoring the channel, sponsoring me, and making it extremely easy for me to be able to get these videos out to you and uh, I just I just want to thank you guys all so if you guys are in need or want of a carbon fiber surround be sure and go over to Extreme Online Store check them out and if you do talk to them be sure and tell them that Scott sent you guys okay um, on another note guys if you guys have not already subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads and um, guys, I just want to thank you again for watching. This is probably 
this is probably the last video I'm going to film this year in 2023. And so I hopefully uh, this one will get out the first of the year. So I want to wish you guys all a uh, happy new year. And uh, I just want to thank you guys all for watching and subscribing and spending the time with me. And we've been doing this since 2018. And, uh, and it's been a great ride and I have no plan on going anywhere except just keep doing this stuff for you guys. So hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it. Okay, so guys, thanks again and we'll talk to you later.